So here we have the famous uh, R390A HF receiver from the 50s, 60s, early 70s. Uh, this is a uh, Motorola unit, well, a moderately late one, uh, recently refurbished by myself. It's uh, meeting and exceeding all the specs required. Um, everything on it seems to run quite well. And the comp <laughs> its compatriot, which was the um, CV157. Now, this is a rather large machine. It's, uh, it basically facilitated the reception of single sideband and uh, various data modes. Um, it comes with a mechanical AFC facility, you can see on the left. Uh, there's a couple of meters which read out the, uh, basically the uh, audio levels and the carrier levels when, they are, when they're set up. And a number of knobs and, uh, and buttons there to push, so uh, for anybody who's into knobs and button pushing, this is the one to have. Uh, it does uh, have a lot of, um, of tubes in there, there's 44 tubes and the whole lot weighs something like about 35 kilos. So it's not for the, uh, the faint hearted. But it does provide an extremely uh, good, clear, single sideband audio out. What we'll do is we'll attempt to have a bit of a listen to uh, some of the, uh, the HF stations. Um, let's just reset the, uh, the receiver here. And make sure we're actually going to be on channel. Look to the CAL facility. We will lock it off without knocking too much. Right, so we've now zeroed the CAL. Undo the lock. Bring it back to the AGC bags. We'll just see if we can hear the Brisbane Air and Audible 8867. Uh, the little amplifier above is an old Plessy 2 watt uh, valve amplifier. Produces uh, just from the audio output, uh, basically a monitoring facility. Just talk through them. Uh, we have an A and B output which can be selected on the unit. There's an audio output sound. This is actually the, the output from the unit. There's a squelch alarm and a drift alarm um, under normal transmission conditions of multi, uh, many years ago. The transmitters or receivers could drift, and if they drifted too far, this large. So what we're hearing there is uh, an aircraft calling at Nandi, which is uh, one of the islands in the southeast here. Not the best of conditions today, it's midday, the uh, sun is up and it's uh, uh, a little bit busy. So that's the CV157 uh, heavyweight single sideband adapter as used with the uh, R390 receiver. So it sounds like Qantas has got through. Let's uh, look on to a bit of AM searching and I'll explain the basis of the AFC. Okay, so here we are back at the CV157 and it's currently uh, basically a single sideband reception mode but you can actually resolve uh, AM signals with this uh, if you lock on to the carrier. So let's have a look at what we would do to, uh, to enable that to happen. We're up here at 15 megahertz. I'm about to tune down into basically uh, you can hear the beat of the carrier and if you focus on the meters here and adjust the carrier for maximum slope which is there, close enough, you can now engage the AFC. It will now automatically lock and you will see that the meter down here, the AFC indicator is actually slightly jiggling to move it. You can hear it ticking if I turn it all the way down. So the AFC indicator indicates the receiver slight drift or possibly even the transmitter slight drift and you'll just see it shimming around and just a bit of noise. And you hear it ticking. If I was to simulate a small amount of drift on the receiver in fact, I'll turn the voice up here so you can hear that. So I'm now adjusting the receiver. You can see it actually tracking with the receiver drift. 
I can't remember a bowler if bowling as well as Anderson did and, do and knocks it. Yeah, if I leave the AFC off and adjust it, hear the audio, hear the beat. Going back, AFC lock on, meter sits, the audio comes in, and we can stack either the upper or the lower sideband. Currently, on the, uh, let me have a look at the sideband, and that's the lower. It's a question that lingers, of course, what is the best method of, of Lower. using referrals? Should Upper. it be in the hands of the Lower. players or entirely the umpires? And the Remarkable piece of engineering for its time. Um, first single sign of an adapter that came out, made by the Collins Company. We can actually have a look internally here by pulling out the main unit. I've always said this, that it should stay with the officials and the players should be involved in it whatsoever. So, 44 valves, there's a fan exhaust at the back to allow it to extract the valve, valve heat, and it goes way back into the player. From the player, that the player's gone with the job and let the umpires make the decision. push it back again. I think that could happen somewhere along the line if we get to that point. Okay. Let's drop down in there. Let's get out of the way. So the CV157 single sideband adapter for the R390.